Are you or someone you know stuck on statins? What if I told you there might be alternatives? What if I could tell you there's a way that you can change your life? Stay tuned as we explore the potential of alternative supplements, including those won by a doctor that could offer you a new way to manage your cholesterol. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Dana, and this is Statin Talk. Today, we're going to dive into the world of statins again, that popular cholesterol-lowering drug. So here's the deal. We know that they're handling, handing out statins like candy, swearing they're essential for managing cholesterol and preventing heart disease. But on the flip side, patients are left scratching their heads, wondering if they really need these meds. Are statins our friends? Or just another confusing addiction to our medicine cabinets? Let's break it all down. Statins work by blocking an enzyme in your liver that helps produce cholesterol. Sounds great, right? Hmm. But like any good plot twist, there's more to the story. Statins can come with side effects. We've been talking about them. We know them. We know them well. We can recite them, can't we? Muscle pain, liver issues, and memory loss. Yep. You might forget you left your car key somewhere, but you will never forget where you left your cholesterol pills. But what are your cholesterol levels? Will they be on point? Recent studies have shown that statins aren't just for those with high cholesterol. They have been shown that they can protect high-risk individuals who haven't had a heart attack or stroke, but might be at risk due to the factor of like age or diabetes. This means statins could benefit a border group of people that previously thought. But wait, let's not forget the head scratchers. A large scale study in Korea. Let's stop right there, people. Does that make any sense? But in Korea, they have found that Rosatus statin and Ava, I'm going to be saying a lot of tongue twisters for me here. So I'm sorry. I'm probably going to butcher some words. But Avastatin were equally effective at reducing heart attacks and strokes. But Rosavastatin was linked to higher rates of new onset diabetes and contract cataract surgery. Sorry. So it's a trade off lower your cholesterol or potential or potential new health risk. Which one should we pick? The debate continues. Here's a fun fact. Statins were originally discovered in what? Fungi. Mmm, just rolls off the tongue like pizza, doesn't it? In the late 1970s, Dr. Irika Indu identified the first statin, mevastatin, from the fungus Cetirlium. Now, you can correct me. I know I just blew that totally wrong and out of the water, but I don't care because they're awful. The breakthrough was supposed to be led to develop that of Lovastatin, the first statin to be marketed, which came from a similar compound produced by this fungus, Asparagilius. It's amazing how a small discovery in nature can lead to a medical revolution. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Some recent research is challenging the very foundation of why we use statins. These studies suggest that lowering cholesterol might not be the ultimate solution for preventing heart disease. In fact, the cholesterol hypothesis itself is being questioned. Can you believe it? Doctors 
that came out with all of these great medicines that they said were great are now in question. Have we been barking up the wrong tree? All this time, studies have found that while statins can reduce cholesterol, the benefits may be less dynamic than we thought. For instance, statins have shown to lower the risk of a first heart attack or stroke by about 14% and overall mortality rate by 39% in certain high-risk groups. But these numbers are not as large as many might expect. So what's the bottom line? Statins can lower cholesterol, but they come with potential side effects and a whole lot of controversy. It's clear that while they can be beneficial, especially for those at high risk of heart disease, they're not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a mixed bag, and the debate is far from over. But while they're offered prescribed to help manage cholesterol levels, many people find themselves stuck dealing with side effects and long-term concerns. But fear not. We're here to explore all those alternatives. That might just be the solution you're looking for. Statins are wild, widely prescribed and the most prescribed medicine, but they come with a list of side effects that can challenge us all. Now, the muscle damage I can deal with, liver damage, increased blood sugar, those are issues. And even associated with Alzheimer's is a big problem that I have. Now, these are just some issues that are reported by users. In fact, studies show that one out of five people who take statins experience all of these side effects, muscle pain and weakness. It's like discovering your miracle pill has a dark side, which you have heard in the last video. So what can you do if you're stuck on statins and you're looking for a way out? I've had people ask me that. I am stuck. I am scared. Well, enter a doctor. He is renowned in the, as a medical doctor in alternative medicine. He advocates and believes in holistic health approaches, offering supplements that aim to provide the benefits of statins without the harsh side effects. His approach focuses on natural ingredients that support heart health and manage cholesterol levels. He has developed a range of supplements that target the root causes of high cholesterol. These include omega-3 fatty acids, known for their heart-healthy benefit, CQ, COQ10, which supports muscle function and energy production, and other natural compounds designed to reduce inflammation and improve overall cardiovascular health. It's like having a toolbox filled with natural solutions to keep your heart in tip-top shape. But how effective are these alter alternatives? Studies have shown that omega-3s can significantly reduce triglycerides, a type of fat found in your blood. In fact, omega-3 supplements have been shown to reduce triglyceride levels by up to 30%. Tin has been found to improve heart function and reduce the muscle pain associated with statins, while these supplements not might be as powerful as statins for everyone, they offer a promising option for those looking for a gentler approach. Switching to natural alternatives doesn't mean abandoning, abandoning all conventional medicine. It's about finding a balance. It's about finding that life change, which will play a crucial role in managing cholesterol levels. Regular exercise, a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and healthy fats, reducing stress can all contribute to better heart health. Think of it as building a fortress 
to protect your heart with natural supplements as your secret weapon. According to recent statistics, over 82 million statin prescriptions were issued in England alone in the past year, according to BMJ. This widespread use underscores the importance of exploring all options, all options for managing cholesterol. It's crucial to remember that while statins have their place, especially for high-risk potential natural alternatives, can also play a crucial role in a comprehensive health strategy to wrap things up. Being stuck on statins doesn't have to be in your only option. Explore your alternatives, like the supplements. Who are these? Who is this doctor that has the supplements? His name is Dr. Sears, and he can provide a path to better health to help you reduce your statins, to get off statins. Remember, it is essential to consult with your doctor. I am not a physician. I'm just offering my advice from a person that is in your shoes. And I've been there. I had the surgery. I had the heart attack. I know it's hard. There are those of you that are on medications that are on statins. You're too scared to want to make that change. But I'm telling you, look up Dr. Sears. Look up Ultra Excel 2. It is a supplement that I take and I will never stop taking it. He has one called Triple Burn, which Triple Burn actually gets rid of inflammation in your body. So if you do have inflammation of any sort, Triple Burn will get rid of it. The Ultra Excel 2 works in works with the heart. And the great thing about Ultra Excel 2 is it's got ingredients where it works with the computer system of your body, your thyroid. Your health is your most valuable asset, people. So stay informed. Keep your choices available. And keep them so they are working the best for you. Now, I'm doing everything I can to put this content out for you. If you guys have any further questions about Dr. Sears, his supplements, you would like to see certain videos on a certain supplement, comment below. Let me know. Keep me going. And the best way that you can support me is to like and also subscribe so that I can continue to help you guys manage and teach and show you about managing cholesterol. I would love to hear all of your experiences. And if you subscribe, I will respond to you. And even if you're a subscriber, you all know I answer every single comment. And I plan on doing that. And if you do have a video that you would like me to do, comment, make a comment and say, hey, I'd like to hear about this. I will research it. I will put it together and I will give you the video. So stay healthy, people. Stay informed. Keep exploring the best options for your heart. Thank you. I'm Dana, and this was Staten Talk.